Good afternoon from Skip Wilson Field in Ambler, Pennsylvania on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Bringing you game number six of the College Dream Stream Series, powered by BFA Sports. And for BFA Sports, I'm Al Fisher, along with my silent partner, Doug Stasek. It will not be heard, thank God. We bring you game number six between Pride and the Diamond and Baseball UPA Wyatt. On the mound for Baseball UPA is Mike Morrow. His battery mate is Jay Seriano. Defensively behind him, third base, Nate Kress. Brooks Henderson at short. Jake Pope at second. Luke Burkhead at first. Mike Amrine in left. Tyler Kidwell in center. And Gabriel Marrera in right. The lineup Morrow will face. Batting first, Cole Crossless. Batting second, Joe O'Rourke. Batting third, Wes George. Fourth, Josh Pepe. Fifth, Caden Beidler. Sixth, James Evans. Batting the seven hole, Subasa Magoda. I'll get that one right. <laughs> Batting eighth, Peyton Sharif. Batting ninth, Brody Marabito. Batting ninth is Nathan Unger. And batting tenth is Adam, Adam Boyer. And leading off is Cole Crossless for Pride of the Diamond. First pitch is high and tight to him for a ball. Here we go. And a 1 0 pitch. Like a fastball in the inside corner for a strike. It's 1 1. And the 1 1 pitch from Morrow. Breaking ball, lifted softly to left field. It's going to fall quickly. Oh, what an effort by Brooks Henderson, the shortstop, but could not quite get to it. So Chrysler's on first with a single. Shortstop Joe O'Rourke steps to the plate. A runner at first base and nobody out. Morrow checks the runner at first. Goes over there. Gets back easily. After O'Rourke, we have West George on deck and Josh Pepe in the hole. First pitch is high for a ball. One out of count to Joe O'Rourke. Morrow gets a sign from Seriano. First pitch is low and away. It's 2 and 0. Over to first base again. As Crossless gets back in time. sets and a 2-0 pitch bounces up there for a ball it's now 3-0 and oh he got caught and oh he got back just in time I thought he maybe got caught leaning a little bit Crossless just gets under the tag. That fastball's right down Broadway for a strike call. This count now goes to three and one. And we got the coaches side by side for you. Three one pitch misses the mark, so it's a base on balls for O'Rourke. First two runners are on base with nobody out. That'll bring up West George, the pitcher. West George at a Northwestern Lehigh High School. 394 GPA, 1150 SAT. Uncommitted, standing at 6'1", 160. The first pitch to him. Clear. 
He swings through that one for a strike. One pitch to George. Inside for a ball. Count evens up at one and one. Cole Crossless at second. Joe O'Rourke at first. That ball's ripped down the third base side. Fair. Here comes Crossless. He's going to score with it out of throw. And it's a one nothing contest with Pride of the Diamond on the board first. George moved up to second base on the throw. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I stand corrected. He's at first base. He held there. So we have O'Rourke at second, George at first. Still nobody out with Josh Peppy at the plate. Josh Perry, I should say, at the plate. Pitch bounces up there for a ball. Morrow checks the runner at second. And a 1 0 pitch. Over a ball. It's 2 0. Two runners on, still nobody out. And here's the pitch from Morrow. Over for a strike call. Count now 1 and 2 to Josh Perry. I'm sorry, two and one to Josh Perry. I do apologize. Oh, yeah, sure. Sounds like it. <laughs> that 2 1 pitch bounces up there. It's now three and one to Perry. Still nobody out. Runners at first and second and a run across. Morrow sets in a 3 1 pitch. Low ball four. Josh Perry earns a base on balls. Charles now the bases are loaded. Caden Bidler, the catcher. Okay. Bidler out of Allentown Central Catholic. Uncommitted, 3.2 GPA at 5'11", 150. Okay. First pitch to him is fouled off and out of play. Pitch bounces up there for a ball. It's one and one. <laughs> and a one one pitch for Morrow. Breaking ball over for a strike call. Count now goes to one and two. One, two pitches high and away for a ball. The count evens up at two and two. Bases loaded, nobody out. Byler in a big spot. To get a pitch he's looking for. He pops it up. Shallow center field. Actually, the shortstop makes the call. Brooks Henderson makes the grab, and the runners do not advance for the first out of the inning. With one down, that'll bring up the second baseman, James Evans. Now 
some kind of delay here. Don't know what's going on. Looks like we have a oh courtesy runner. The catcher Caden Bidler. I'll bring up number fifty five, Brody Morabito. There's a ball laced out the left field. It's gonna fall for a base hit. One run will score. And it's now a two to nothing contest on the third hit of the inning for Pride of the Diamond. Timeout called. So we'll have a conference on the mound. Try to settle this one down with only one out, and the base is still loaded and two runs across for Pride of the Diamond. You want to talk about packs of wild dogs? Roaming through our cities. All right, Shibasa Magoda. Now an opportunity to keep it rolling here for Pride of the Diamonds. He takes that first pitch low for a ball. Fouled straight back. Uh, you're good. Laura winds the pitch. A little flare to right field. It's going to fall foul. I believe the count is one and two. And a one-two pitch. It's high for a ball, it's two and two. Chubasa Magoda. A two-two count, base is loaded and only one out. And here's the two-two pitch. Ground ball to short, could this be a double play ball? It's booted at short by Henderson. One run scores. Here comes the second, here comes the throw, and not in time as two more runs cross the plate for Pride of the Diamond, and it's now a four to nothing ball game. Replay. Here it is on the game changer replay. Good things happen when you put the bat on the ball, force the defense to make a play. Fortunately, I took it in between hop on Henderson. And two runs are plated. Now bring up Peyton Sheriff. That pitch gets away. The runners will advance to second and third. Hey there, partner. Hey. There's a voice from the sky coming in. Has it been having to work on solo? Is this Chewbacca? Yes. Yes, I've, been, I've been called a Wookiee many yeah. a time. <laughs> You've been called more than that. Oh, yeah. Something that sounds like it, I think. Yeah. Usually it starts with a letter A, but that's okay. <laughs> Sheriff swings through that one. I think Dennis Leary actually uh, sung about me once. Oh, uh, yeah, he did. It was actually a good song. Yeah. What was that like more like the late 80s, I think it was? Or yeah, late 80s? I, I, think I don't think it was 90s. No, I think it was. What? Yeah, yeah, it's had the video jukebox thing going. Oh, I remember man. seeing it once or twice. Sheriff swings through that one for the second out of the inning. And then I'll bring up Brody Morabito. What, were we napping the first two games? No, I just I get caught up. The older I am, the harder it is to catch up when I'm multitasking. Metamucil helps out. There's a line drive to left field for a base <laughs> hit. They're going to send Magoda home, and it's a high throw, and he scores. And it's now a five to nothing ball game. Uh, putting the pressure on. I mean, swinging the ball, you know, swinging when the ball's in the zone. 
matriculating runs since it is football season, but nonetheless, uh, they're able to then lighten up the scoreboard a bit early here in this one for the Pride. So that's the fifth run across for the Pride of the Diamond, their fourth hit of the inning. And Nathan Unger at the plate. And the first pitch is inside for a ball. Unger at a Parkland High School in Pennsylvania. That pitch catches the outside corner for a strike call. It's now one on one. Yeah, it's Pride of the Diamond Club, their uh, second Dream Stream Series event. Made it into the final back at the Sales University. Oh, that one caught the middle of the back of Unger. Well, sometimes replay catches the uh, highlights, and sometimes it catches those painful moments you get to relive in slow motion. Oh, actually caught him in the, uh, the caboose. The rump roast. I ah, leave it to you. I'm always thinking about food. That brings up Adam Boyer. <laughs> <laughs> First pitch to him is at the knees for a strike call. Show Boyer here. Out of Bethlehem Catholic, Pennsylvania. That breaking pitch is low for a ball. It's now one and one. Yeah, I mean, I've been really impressed with the pride of the Diamond Club. Mm -hmm. uh, being able to see these guys now a couple times and start to tell some stories. Uh, certainly drawing some interest from some of the coaches. Anytime I get pulled aside and asked a couple questions about, you know, do we have more video on these guys? What are my opinions in terms of this player playing this position or that? Um, always really good stuff. But uh, I just think that they're a very fundamentally sound baseball club. They make the pitchers work for their pitches, and right now proving it against uh, Mr. Morrow is they're just trying to square up anything that they see in the zone, and this team has a lot of barrels in the lineup top to bottom. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, but not before the pride of the diamond. Plate five at the top of the first on four hits, one error, and two left. We will go to the bottom of the first with your score, 5 nothing here on BFA. There's a shot of West George, the pitcher for Pride of the Diamond. His battery mate is Caden Bidler behind the dish. Nathan Unger at third. Joe Work at short. James Evans at second. Adam Boyer at first. Peyton Shereth 
Smith in left, Cole Crossless in center, and Josh Perry in right field. He'll face Jake Pope, Mike Morrow, and Brooks Henderson here in the bottom half of the first inning. Down six to nothing, not five to nothing as I reported. Do apologize for that as the first pitch is over, first strike call. And the one pitch is outside for a ball. Count evens up at 101. Brooks Henderson had a father judge high school. I think it's number 40. Yeah, I have bad there. I heard you I'm say I'm sorry, Brooks Jake Henderson. Pope. I'm sorry, Jake Pope. Where, where did Brooks Henderson come from? It's Jake Pope at the plate. Well, Jake Pope comes from uh, across Steiner. the bridge in Jersey. Steiner. Yeah. Our buddy uh, Dave Gallagher. Dave Gallagher. Yes, sir. Let's see. Uh, an alum over there at Steiner. We've seen a couple of Steiner products come through the Baseball U Philly Club. And that's ball four as Jake Pope leads off the bottom half of the first with a walk. And I'll bring up the pitcher, Mike Morrow. Morrow at Neshaminy High School, 3.7 GPA, 59156, and he hits that one in a hole for a base hit the left field. So first two batters are on. Uh, Morrow, good swing. This is a guy who's aggressive. So he was, uh, I can tell you, he was thinking about that first at bat probably till end, till end of that first half as he was in the field. Be aggressive, man. Don't don't take a strike. Swing at him and Morrow connecting. So with two on, it'll bring up Brooks Henderson, the shortstop. And he lifts that one up behind second base. That's going to be a tough one. Did it fall? It did. It is on the ground. And the runners will move up on the base hit by Brooks Henderson because that's a tough play. you got to call that one a single. Yeah, we see it here on the tail end on the sw swings through it. And that is a uh, tempted basket catch over the shoulder. NFL starts uh, tomorrow for the Eagles, and Evans did everything he could to get to that one. Yeah, great effort by Evans. Just could not make the play. Now the bases are loaded with nobody out. And that'll bring up the center fielder, Tyler Kidwell. Yeah, you know, Evans for prod of the diamond, playing second base, lots of versatility. We've seen him in the outfield time and again. Uh, glad to see that kind of first step instinct out there. Covered a lot of ground, short amount of time. So now baseball U, P.A. Wyatt putting a threat here in the bottom half of the first with the bases loaded, nobody out. Let's see what Kidwell can do. At the spring side, Cheston Hill. And he lifts that one up. Third base side. Unger makes the call and the grab for the first out of the inning. One out. Base is still loaded, and that'll bring up Nate Kress. Kidwell, a little bit out in front, but a good delivery there by Wes George, keeping it down in the zone, making him chase. You know, got him going fishing out there for that ball, and today would be a nice day for uh, some fishing. Or calling baseball games. Yeah. Yeah. Took door number two as that one's lifted to left field and slicing foul. Well, it was good to see you show up this morning. I mean, we had the we had the sign up that said it was amateur hour. And so, mm -hmm. who, who better than you? I'll show up to amateur hour. There's no doubt about come that. Come on out here. Yep. Yep. So, it looks like it's uh, Nathan Kress. It is Nate Kress, third baseman. This pitcher definitely amateur hour. Oh, nice breaking pitch from West George. Get Crest to swing through that one. It's a bite on it. Base is still loaded, one out. Big spot for Nate Crest. Get something happening here for baseball UPA Wyatt. That one bounces up there for a ball.
That's a ball ripped to right field, but just foul. Yeah, just cool. foul on the first base side. Go ahead. Crest can swing it, man. He's a guy that can absolutely hit the ball a country mile in a hurry. We've seen him do it uh, just a few short weeks ago back in in August. And to see him now lead him back in, I mean, there's still a dent that he left in the scoreboard. <laughs> if you climb up there, you probably a little spit shine on that thing. But when it's sunny in this afternoon, you can see the uh, the remnants of an eight crest country mile homer. Of course, if you were going to dent the scoreboard, you'd have to put a ladder and climb up and take a nail and swing at it with a hammer or something. Might have to send somebody else up the ladder because I can't go up it. <laughs> Excuse me, could you go up that ladder, please, and put a dent in the scoreboard? Thank you very much. <laughs> it's good, man. It's, it's good leadership. You know, you got to delegate some things. That's right. So Crest goes down swinging on the check swing strikeout. That'll bring up Andrew Armstrong, who fouls that one off to the first base side. Big feather in the cap if West George can work out of this one after loading the bases right up. First three batters. Kidwell will pop out the third and crest the swing on a strikeout. As that pitch is low and away for a ball. Wow. Uh, riveting. This, uh, this bottom half in is brought to you by narcolepsy. <laughs> no dose. No dose. If you uh, fall asleep uh, at your job. <laughs> oh, boy. I. That pitch has popped up and foul out of play. Yeah, it's, I don't know what's more dangerous, <laughs> nodding off at the wheel or at the switcher. I got to tell uh, you. Baseball. I hope she's not driving home. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good Lord. Look at those nips. Good luck. <laughs> we just, you just missed the whole half <laughs> inning. No, you didn't. I just turned a triple play. Now we have none of it on video. <laughs> Andrew Armstrong at the plate. Back to business here. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. I think that'll be a force out of Good home. heads up play by the catcher. By there, keeping his cool, knowing exactly what the scenario is. And some guys you would see sometimes panic and throw the ball unnecessarily at first, but not for Bidler. No runs, two hits, no errors, three left. We will go to the top of the second inning with your score. Six nothing in favor of Pride of the Baseball.
one. All right, moving to the top of the second inning. Yes, that is Cole Crossless. He's leading off the top of the second as they almost batted around. That one's cued to short. Henderson charges, throws across the diamond and gets him. 6-3 put out is successful. Now take a look at the game changer instant replay. Good stroke there by Crossless. But a better play. Fleet-footed Brooks Henderson. Seen him now a few times as well. Dude is silky smooth with his footwork and a good three-quarter arm slot delivery across the diamond. And with one out, that'll bring up Joe O'Rourke, who walked his first time up and scored. Or his only time up, actually, and scored, which was just last half inning, or last inning. Out of Faith Christian, 3.3 GPA, 5.8, 135. Oh, that just missed him. Seltzer is uh, not ideal to drink on air during amateur hour. Yeah. That pitch is over for a strike calls. The count moves the one and one to a work. Yeah, I, I enjoy the seltzer. One one pitch. Now two and one. I thought I saw the umpire flash three and one though. Got part of the Immaculata coaching staff here today. Doing a little umpire in action too as they're getting some scouting in on the field. Four three put out as Pope throws at the Burkhead to retire Joe O'Rourke. Two up, two down as West George now steps to the plate. Who got it? RBI single in the first and scored a run. Those very solid numbers, 394, 1150 SAT. And did that catch a bat? Uh, I think it got him first. But it sounded like a helmet, but I thought it hit the bat. Well, we can, uh, we <laughs> can go for some assistance here. Let's see on a game changer replay. Now wait, we're changing sides. So uh, I have no idea what the call could have been. Unless uh, it hit his bat. It hit his bat, and did it go in the field of play, or did they do tag him? I didn't watch the rest of the play. Uh, yeah, they did. The ball went into play. That is a that, fair ball. That is a fair ball indeed, oh, and that, that will end the inning. Oh. So a two unassisted put out to end <laughs> the, the top of the second. We will go to the bottom of the second with your score, 6 nothing here on BFA. All right, we move to the, I believe, the bottom of the second inning. I am lost in space. Well, if you're following along on Game Changer, 
Can I say bottom in a second? Yeah, you're right. All right. West George on the mound. As he faces Mikey Amrine at a Chamonix High School. Last of the like about Mikey Amrine. Indeed. He takes the first pitch over for a strike. Dude's a beast in the field. And he has this, like, RBI incense to him, like a... Uh, it's like, it's like Spider-Man. It's almost like the second full season or third full season of Mike Amron. I'm, I'm losing yeah. track. Yeah, no, he uh, came through as a youngin', man. He continued to stand out. First time we saw him was over there at Newtown. But now he's uh, getting it done. Our director right on point, making sure we're showing the batter, Mike Amron, as we talk about him. Yeah, it's good. She's way in front of things, got to tell you. And that pitch is low for a ball. Uh, our iPad needs a uh, defibrillator. That pitch is popped foul and out of play. Oh, just behind us and just missed that lovely blonde over there behind it, under the tree. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think our heart skipped a few beats. <laughs> oh, breaking pitch up a little bit high for a ball. It's a, it's a cool breeze. I feel like I'm in the Bahamas right now. Can I have a drink? I'll be doing a sleep. Yeah. You did. George Wines, and that pitch is fouled straight back. and. It's like a shooting gallery back here. <laughs> the leaves fell. <laughs> Balls are coming in from everywhere. <laughs> Glad our switcher is doing a great job of picking all this up. Guy running across the field. It's good. No, oh, never mind. Just kidding. Just checking to make sure you're awake there. Me? Missy, yeah. Oh, that one went off his helmet. So, Amrine hit by a pitch. will find himself a leadoff base runner for baseball, UPA Wyatt, here in the bottom of the second. What we didn't talk about is the fact that Wesley George worked himself out of a big time jam, loading the bases in the first. The first three batters got Kidwell to pop out the third, struck out Nate Cress, a very dangerous hitter, and then struck out Andrew Armstrong on a drop third strike. That pitch is low and away for a ball. Luke Burkhead, the first baseman at the plate. <laughs> There goes the runner, and there's not going to be a throw. Is that one got away from Bidler a little bit? Count now, even at one and one. Checked that, did not offer. Burkhead at Central Bucks West, 3.3 GPA, 11.20 SAT. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. First out of the inning for baseball UPA. And Ryan at second base after the stolen base. I'll bring up Gabriel Marrero, the right fielder. That ball's a base hit the left field. And Ryan rounds third, he'll stop there. And we have runners at first and third and one out. Nice piece of hitting by Gabriel Marrero. Yeah, attack it right in the zone. 
waste no time, jump right on. Goes right to work. Catcher Jay Seriano now steps to the plate with runners at the corners and just one out. like deja vu. <laughs> I actually have a college coach that's asking me for the link. So uh, he's watching from home, so I'm sending him said link. So I had to oh, you check us out on Game Changer. You didn't have a volume button on the side of your phone? No, it's so. overrated. All right, all right. Yeah, let me catch up here on the graphics. There goes the runner. Here comes the throw to second base. They cut it off, but the run will score. Good heads up base running by Mikey Amrine. And baseball UPA is on the board. Now six to one contest. That's way to be aggressive. You know, you're down a few runs here. Try to make them make plays, get the ball moving, and good things will happen. Marrero now at second base. Stole second. Pitches over for a strike call. A little bit of shade rolling in here. Much appreciated, though. Clear, Take the back. shade. There's a line drive to center field. That will fall for a base hit. Marrero will move to third base. That gets by the center fielder. Marrero will round third, and he will score. And it's now a 6 to 2 ball game. So the baseball U Philly Wyatt crew having themselves a bit of an inning here. So far, this has been a offensive baseball fans treat, kind of like a trip to the custard stand. Mm, yeah, indeed, I guess uh, if you say so, sure. <laughs> Brian Henry now steps. <laughs> Ryan Henry steps to the plate, the extra hitter. I, I like, uh, well, they call them Jimmy's on the jersey side of the bridge, Al. Do you like Jimmy's or Sprinkles? I, I take either. Neither. Neither? Just, just no, give have me you a. Have seen yourself? You take both. No, I, I, I'll just take a vat of uh, <laughs> ice cream. That's all. Yeah. There goes the runner. Nice pitch. It did catch the inside corner, and he did verify that was a strike call. But a stolen base for Jay Seriano as he's at second base now. Baseball U continues to apply pressure. Pride of the diamond. That one's flared to the first base side, and it's a foul ball. Ooh. Well, even the uh, oh. even the coach at first. All right, well, well take a quick look at the game changer. It's close. Replay. This it is close. Definitely was close. Let's slow it down. It's almost like it was coming back. Um, I don't uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that was a fair, that's a fair ball. Oh, no, wait. Well, oh, he, he yeah. The, he didn't yeah, see the chalk. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a foul ball. It's all right. You want to go have words with the coach? No. Maculata? Sure. No, no, no. no. It's signed tight to Brian Henry. There's a ball lifted to center field. Hit fairly deep. Morrow fakes and decides not to go. Sorry, that's Seriano over there. No, it is Morrow. Morrow is probably running for Seriano. Courtesy runner. I thought you were thinking Old McDonald had a nah, farm. No, no, no. E -I -E -I -L. No, because Marrero scored. Oh. And he went back out to spell Seriano. Yeah, there he is. It is Marrero. <clears throat> back to the leadoff spot with Jake Pope. There goes Marrero, aggressive base runner. 
Because that one's over for a strike call, and who knows what that was all about for you, that, for you folks at home. And a big X across the screen. I thought we were Technical in Epcot. Disney. I thought we were in Epcot in Disney World. I thought it was. I thought we were using our imagination. Imagination. That ball slapped over to third base. Opportunity for Unger goes across the diamond, and it's not in time. Good hustle out of the box, man. No hesitation. Finish the swing. Hard 90. Get on it. There he is. Game changer instant replay. Just right out of the box. No hesitation. A little bit of a double pump. Might have cost a little bit extra time, but I don't think it would have mattered much. Pope was on the hop. Mike Morrow with an opportunity to help himself here in the spot. Got runner at first base. So Morrow did score. That pitch is on the outside corner for a strike call. It's now a six to three contest. Fastball high and tight. Connected on that first at bat through the left side. Foul at the plate. Yeah, Coach Glenn Wyatt, a little bit of hit and run. Trying to open up some holes in the defense, but being aggressive with the bat. Got the right guy at the plate to do that, too. Mm -hmm. He was such a good contact hitter. You know, not a lot of swing and misses from Morrow. Oh, breaking pitch just missed. Is that a little bit high? Game three on the day. We got one more for the five o'clock matinee. Is this still considered a matinee? Uh, yeah. Oh, nice throw on the money, but better jump by Pope. As Pope gets a stolen base. He finds himself at second base, and Morrow now can knock in another run to make it the fourth of this inning. Is it a matinee? Yeah. It is, is there such a thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's still I, I think actually early afternoon is matinee. I think so you're the you're the movie guy. The, I well mean, no, you're the five o'clock one is more of the uh I thought you qualified for the uh, the senior, senior citizen. citizen. It is a senior yeah. citizen, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. My wife and I go to the movies at that time. Usually just popcorn for dinner. Nice. But yeah, it's nice. But that's uh, that'll end the inning. Not before baseball oh, UPA Wyatt you. puts yeah. three across the board on Two hits, actually three hits, no errors, and one left. We will go to the top of the third inning with your score, 6-3.
All right, we move to the top of the third inning. First pitch is inside for a ball from the arm of Mike Morrow as he faces Josh Perry. Not to be confused with uh, Luke Perry. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Man, he stole my thunder. From, uh, what is that, Beverly Hills 90210? Wasn't he on that one? Yeah, he was on that one. Yeah, that's what I thought. I saw that episode the other night. Of him. He was on Family yeah. Guy. Yeah. He's uh, no longer with us, though. He was a... Uh, Are you sure? Yes, he did. Yes. yes. Uh, well, he was good on the episode of Family Guy a few years back. Ball chopped foul by Perry down the third base side. Oh, and almost goes into two. Yeah, you know, you your team scores three runs if it goes through the tarp tube. Wow. Yeah, it's like a wiffle ball uh, rule. I like it. Yeah, yeah keep people on their toes. Give them credit for a foul ball. And there's another shot. A little touch of coach. Oh, oh, just cost his team a couple man. runs. Yeah, look at that. Doesn't even know. Man. Shout out to Coach, though. Look at him. Hustling. Yeah, shagging balls, man. Yeah. Perry walked his first time up and scored a run in the first inning. Morrow is giving a healthy dose of breaking balls to Perry. Dun -dun 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 -dun. fouled away so we're gonna take a look at the pool play uh standings i guess tonight after all the games have been played and get to play for a title here yeah. the dream stream series winning team get a uh, some video time with the championship banner but then of course a team highlight video that you can put out there on social media and share and send to family friends and coaches as well keep you posted in terms of uh who's going to be playing for the Dream Stream Fall. I guess you're going to call that, was it the Harvest Moon? Maybe we'll call it the Harvest we'll Moon. We'll call it the Harvest Moon Championship. It, did, did they take that banner home with them, or is that uh, we don't have the budget for that? Uh, no, actually, it's a recycled banner. <laughs> we're, we're a green company. <laughs> Very green. Very jaws of base on balls. Oh, man. <laughs> Caden Byler. Popped out the short his first time up. Steps to the plate. Well, you're a big fan of uh, recycling. I, I am. I do. I dig through trash cans. That's a, that's a fact. Oh, that almost got him. Tomorrow, not afraid to work inside. Oh, that's Mario, the pitcher, and that's Bidler, the catcher. Who's hitting? Oh. Throw to first base, not in time. Perry gets back. We're going to make it very convenient to tune in for the uh, playoff games tomorrow. It'll be put out there on YouTube. So in that way, if you happen to be in that spot where you might be taking in some football, nice snap throw behind the dish. Good awareness. If you happen to be in a spot where you're trying to take on uh, some football and at the same point, <laughs> hear what's going on in the baseball field. Makes it a little bit easier on YouTube, but of course we'll be scoring and streaming the Game Changer as well. I'll be watching since uh, the budget doesn't fit me in for tomorrow. No, no, no. <laughs> you, have, you have the option. I, we have the option. It was a failed, uh, veiled, I should say, veiled option. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Well, we, we can switch. We, yeah, you can come tomorrow. Well, uh, I, I think I'll I would switch, switch better. Places. I think I, I think I'd switch better than Missy. <laughs> <laughs> Earning your stripes. I've already made a uh, reservation with an eighth of Tito's. Oh. <laughs> Sounds better than a fifth, Carlos. I guess. Whatever. Carlos over here. <laughs> fifth, eighth. Doesn't matter. Ball lifted Good to the ride. center field. Tyler Kidwell gets underneath it and makes the grab. 
Sounded good coming off the bat. Either thought got good wood on that one. And with one down and a runner at first base, that'll bring up James Evans. An RBI single his first time up and scored a run. James Evans. Sounds like he should be like on some kind of old 70s detective show. <laughs> what do you think? I like it. Well, of course, I would be the only one that knows about the 70s detective shows. Because, yeah. yeah. Why? Yeah, I'm old. The dinosaur tied to the uh, light pole out there might have gave it away. <laughs> Just glad to see the blisters aren't on your feet like they normally are when you drive somewhere. Over to first base. Nice move by Morrow. Defensive stop behind the backstop there by the catcher number 41. Seriano. <laughs> oh, hump back liner falls for a base hit the center center field. So Evans keeps the inning going with a single to left left center whatever either way do we catch that on the uh, the switcher oh, oh we're ADA compliant because you got uh, <laughs> narcolepsy over there so <laughs> uh, show the batter there we go huh? that wouldn't be Mike there right. we go it's boss and Magoda square up the bump oh nice bunt. show the wheels Hustling down over to first base, but they get him. Good play by Nate Kress over at third base. Yeah, that's a team baseball at its Big best. Time. Good execution there. The cool part is he See actually, it. I don't remember, it didn't look like he showed it too early. No. Nah. And yet he just. Good placement, too. Yep. All right. Now with two outs. Peyton Schrepp. <laughs> Schrepp struck out back in the first inning. He's playing left field today. There's a little humpback liner again over to first baseman, Luke Burkhead, who makes the final out of the inning. So no runs, one hit, no errors, two left. We will go to the uh, are we bottom or, or top, folks? What was that? Bottom of the third. Bottom of the third with your score, 6-3 to three on BFA.
Henderson Kidwell Cress to face West George here in the bottom of the third inning. And the first pitch is hit the short. O'Rourke with an opportunity across the diamond. And they get him. 6-3 put out is successful to retire Henderson. That Henderson showing some wheels. Got down there in a hurry. Take a look at it. The game changer instant replay. Quiet hands, really relaxed stance. He didn't. This was a short stroke. Mm -hmm. Kind of trout like. That was, a, that was a pretty close play. And I can't believe it. They found you, Al Fisher. Mm -hmm. The ice, ice cream, cream man. man is here. There he goes behind us. I'm going to step away. I'll be back in <laughs> three innings. Tyler Kidwell popped out to third base his first time up is at the plate. And he hits that one a deep short. Oh, good effort by O'Rourke, but he can't quite catch up to it. So it's a single to left field for Kidwell. Again, kind of an ambush baseball move there. Don't take that first pitch fastball. Come out swinging. Nate Kress struck out his first time up, steps to the plate with a runner at first base, and one out. Oh, man. Some good hands. Must be from Allstate. Yes. That's what I heard him say. Mm -hmm. He's trying to avoid us. He's trying to protect against mayhem. <laughs> no one pitch to Cress. Swing and a miss. A nice breaking pitch from West George. Two pitches fouled away. And oh. oh, what an effort there by Nathan Unger at third base. Yeah, it's a tough angle. He kind of got turned around. At first, didn't think he was going to even have a chance at it, but had a good beat on it. And it just slowly kind of started blowing back towards the field. And got him turned around a bit. Cress here, dangerous hitter. Pure power to the right side. There goes the runner. Ground ball to second. Evans to first. For the second out of the inning, the 4-3 put out. It is executed perfectly. And that'll bring up Andrew Strong. Henderson at second base and two outs. Strong who struck out. And the drop third strike, and there goes the runner again. Here comes the throw to third, and it's not in time. Henderson steals his second base of the game. <clears throat> nice. Got places to be. Back-to-back -back pitches, back-to-back -back bag swipes. There's a ball lifted in the gap to deep left center field. That's going to fall for a hit. There goes Armstrong around first. He's going to chug in the second with an RBI double. Yeah, man, nice piece of hitting there. Got a hold of that baseball, put a charge into it. See it here on the replay. Just good mm. boy. Look at that extension. Oh, yeah. Baby. The ball carried a long way. Armstrong at second base. That'll bring up Mikey Amrine. Was hit by a pitch his last time up. Stole base. First pitch.
Pitch low and away for a ball. There's a ball lifted to left field. Hit shallow, coming in hard, and it falls fair in front of Peyton Sheriff. We've seen some very uh, interesting landings of some baseballs. I mean, the unique one was the bat that was up and ended up ending up in uh, fair territory instead of foul behind. Oh, wait, it wasn't batter. fair. It and actually wasn't fair. They're bringing him back. All right. All right. It's oh. a lot of right. commentary about a foul ball. I watched the, uh, he, he pointed it fair territory. That's why I thought it was fair. All that excitement for nothing, Doug. Oh. Lots of, lot to be excited about. Man, Missy's been showing at. She's been falling asleep at the wheel here. Yeah, I'm, she's, she's not really going to She's not going to be here tomorrow. ESPN called. They need a technical director for <laughs> Sunday Night Football. <laughs> they're, they're scooping it right up. <laughs> it's going to be a. Am I fired? <laughs> Am I fired? <laughs> the line drive to right field. It's going to fall for a base hit. Now that is a base hit. Here comes the run. And he's going to score, does Armstrong. And it's now a 6-5 to five ball game. Tell Lucas to bump his Favor filter pride of the up. diamond. Tell Lucas to bump his filter up. Lucas, can you bump your filter up? Oh, down, sorry. Yep, that's good, thank you. So Amri with a... RBI single to right. First pitch is low and inside of Luke Burkhead. There goes Amrine. Here's the throw to second base. A good one indeed, but Amrine just beats it. So a stolen base for Mikey Amrine. He's now in scoring position. Possibly tied this ball game. Yeah, you see Amrine here. Just a good first step. I mean, this is one that he just absolutely takes advantage of getting a good read on the pitcher. And no question. After a good throw. Bidler, another guy who's uh, done a real good job behind the plate for Pride of the Diamond. Seen him now at a couple of different events. I think he's a plus defender. Um, very smart. I mean, big time baseball IQ. Always seems to be a step ahead, having like an extension of a coach on a field. Pitch was over for a strike call. And that one catches the inside corner for a strike. Dropped to six in the first inning. Oh, and two the count to Burkhead. Oh, sorry about that. It's actually a full count to Burkhead. Emma J. Hood. Three two pitch, swinging him as he struck him out, but not before. Baseball UPA plates two on three hits. No errors and two left. We will go to the top of the fourth with your score 6-5 on BFA.
one. Top of the fourth we go. As Pride of Diamond holds a slim one run lead. The first pitch is popped up. Jake Pope makes the call and makes the grab. Uh, that's an efficient start to an inning. That was Brody Morabito. Retired. And I'll bring up Nate Unger. I think one thing I'm liking about Morrow is just the way that, hey, the way this game started in the first to see now where he is. And that's impressive. And it's about giving an opportunity to see how you respond. A lot of coaches aren't at the beginning of a game going to go out there and, and grab you. He, you know, bared down, found the zone, give the pride credit. They were hitting the baseball a little bit, but he's been uh, missing quite a few barrels now in the last few innings. And it's something to come to expect out of Mike Morrow because we've seen him before on the mound. Does a nice job. Just stays composed. It's very businesslike as that one's flown to center field. Catch made there by Tyler Kidwell, the retire Nathan Unger. And with two outs, gonna bring up Adam Boyer. <coughs> Boyer struck out his first time up, takes that first pitch over first strike. Pitch misses the mark. It's now even at one and one. I think it's going to be it's going to be a very interesting uh, look at some of the standings and pool play today because seen some surprising scores. Our friends from our friends from uh, Scanzano Combat they had an opportunity late in this one. There's another team had a couple of. Uh, Injury challenges that had to have a, a late replacement, so they brought a group of a uh, couple of young guys and they pulled out an 8 7 victory over Ascent. Wow. That pitch was just a bit low at the knees. Of course, tomorrow we'll be at Delaware Valley University, home of the Aggies, for the playoffs and, of course, the championship game on deck. It's all coming up tomorrow. Not to confuse that with Michael Morrow. No. Who will no. be playing tomorrow. Ball hit the hole between short and third out the left field for a base hit. Boyer has a two-out single. We're back to the top of the order with Cole Crossless stepping to the plate. Crossless one for two today. Single to lead off this game in the first and score to run. And grounded out short to first in the second. That first pitch is over for a strike call. Now, Kroos was a good-looking kid, athletic. Again, really good instincts on the baseball field. I think he's got a good amount of patience to him as a hitter. Likes a lot of balls inside. And he's pretty. he's been pretty comfortable actually being deep in the, the count and still willing to kind of fight for his pitch. He's kind of got a calmness about him. Nothing seems to rattle his cage. That pitch catches the inside corner for a strike. That ball is left to the left field. It's going to fall for a base hit. So Crossless now two for three in this contest. I may or may not have mentioned that he seems like the ball inside middle. He did. Oh, there we go. Take another look at the game changer instant replay. Didn't get as much of it as he wanted, but look, this ball's supposed to be delivered up in the zone, and he still manages to just get enough on it. Delivered a base knock. 
All right, we're two on and two out, Joe O'Rourke. The shortstop will come to the plate, but not before conference at the mound. Coach Glenn Wyatt going to go back out there. He's uh, visited Morrow a couple times. I think it's his second visit. And a short meeting indeed, so Coach Wyatt makes his way back to the dugout. Their first pitch of work is inside for a ball. Pitch bounces up there. Nice job by Sariano to keep it with him. Work is 0 for 1 today. Walked in the first and scored a run. Grounded out second to first in the second. That pitch is fouled away to the first base side and out of play. You know, if I owned an auto body shop, this would be a good place to just give out a couple cards. Because you have this giant, you have a giant parking lot here at mm -hmm. Skip Wilson. Kind of makes you feel like you're going to Wally World, and it's like maybe you need like the tram car to get to the field. So a lot of people are like, you know what? I'm gonna park about 60 feet behind the backstop. What could go wrong? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I parked all the way out there. I needed a tram car to bring me in. I, I thought you came in by helicopter. I actually came in by Jazzy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that one's fouled at the plate. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>, picture that? <laughs> hey, I don't think you're too far removed from it. Yeah. The future is near. Uh, well, after last night's football game in standing for about three Probably more like three and a half hours. Yeah, that was it tightened up a little bit. That was a track meet last night. I was like calling an arena football league game down at the high school or down in Millville. There goes the runners. That one bounces up there for a ball. Beautiful fall afternoon. It's been just a beautiful day for baseball in general, but of course it wouldn't be a an event led by Mr. Jimmy Golden, unless there's some precipitation in the forecast. <laughs> Crash gobbles, gathers himself and throws across the diamond to get Joe Work. And that will end the inning. So no runs, two hits, no errors, and two left. We will go to the bottom half of the fourth inning with your score, 6-5.
We move to the bottom of the fourth inning. Six to five contest. Baseball, you coming to the plate. Try to knot this one up. Still plenty of baseball to play. Gabe Marrero, who uh, did one unique thing without batting around. He scored twice in an inning. First pitch is over for a strike call. You ask yourself, I'm sure you do, how did he do that? He got a hit, scored a run, and courtesy ran for the catcher. Well, it's funny, uh, Tim Kirchin, uh, ESPN famed reporter, you know, he talked about his just passion for baseball and why he likes it so much. He said because every time you go to a game, anytime you turn on, there's a chance you're going to see something you've never seen before. You know, it's such a historic game. Or if it's something that happened, you go have to go back in history and say, that ah, hasn't happened since, you know, 1903 when Al Fisher was in second grade. No, I think I was in preschool. Oh, uh, I know it was preschool. close. You are close, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, if we mentioned Joe Rourke is on the mound. That pitch is inside for a ball. Got a new umpire, too, man. New uh, head coach of Washington College, Tom Fiala. So congratulations to him. And pitching being his forte, he's getting a nice close look at O'Rourke. That ball's lifted up the deep center field, taking him way back, and Crossless tracks it down for the out. I give that ball a good ride, but it stays in the ballpark. Skip Wilson's got some very deep alleys. And that one, you need a golf cart to get to the fence out there. Marrero gave it a ride, but it's an out nonetheless. Just a long out. For out number one, I'll bring up Jay Seriano. First pitch is over, first strike call. Nice breaking pitch. Just a bit up for a ball. Yeah, coaches, coaches on both teams. They they love to uh, get their air time. That pitch catches the outside corner for a strike. So work winds in the pitch. Breaking ball. Base hit the center field. Nice piece of hitting by Sariano. You want to see a guy that can't help himself? Wants to be a player? Keep your eye on the uh, BFA instant replay. Watch the fielder. Uh, coach, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Fiala is legitimately just trying to field that baseball. Oh, yeah. Bound to happen. Brian Henry takes the first pitch over for a strike call. Henry flew out the center field with his only time up. And the old one pitch is outside for a ball. It's one and one. He's dialed in. Of course, uh, Fiala, 2014 Washington College grad. And now taking the helm as former coach Corey Bedick goes to his alma mater up in Gettysburg. All schools that are uh, fantastic institutions, great baseball guys through and through, and certainly both fans of the College Dream Stream Series. Again, got make, a lot, already make. getting a lot of, like every event that we do, we get all the comments in the world from, you know, the parents that are here and they see the engagement level with the coaches and the players that are out there and that, you know, these coaches are really dialed in. You know, there's, listen, we know that there's events out there where they kind of just hang out in the background, but 
These guys have been taking uh, copious notes. My phone's been getting plenty of text messages asking for links and if there's more video, and that's what it's all oh, about. Oh, they're going to lead him. Oh. They do get him at first base. Well, that was a quick move, so quick. I'm not sure if we ended up getting this one, but we'll take a gander. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Well, they're impressed as you look at it in yep. slow-mo. That's a good look at uh, that. Oh, no, we get it. We did get it just in time, maybe. And he did get picked off. So second out of the inning now. There's a ball hit up the middle for a base hit to center field. That's good patience there by Henry. I mean, that's a good approach. Waits for his pitch. Realizing that. You don't, you're not swinging it just to make contact, but something you can drive through the middle of the field, keep an inning going. Nice job keeping those hands inside, connecting on the barrel. Back at the top of the order with Jake Pope, stepped into plate, who's one for one today, walked into first, singled and stole a base back in the second. Takes the first pitch, shine away for a ball. Do you notice Missy has sunglasses on now? Yeah, you got to be <laughs> So you can't see her falling asleep. Because <laughs> mm. <laughs> the sun is so bright underneath here. I mean. I was on my compact thing. Well, I got to. Oh, a little line drive to right field for a base hit. Back-to-back -back hits. Loud actually, barrel there by Mr. Pope. Actually, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back hits for baseball U. First pitch to Mike Morrow is low and away for a ball. And a 1-0 pitch is over at the letters for a strike. There's a little hump back liner. Oh, and he looks like he snow cones. He did catch it. We did see the uh, we did see the ice cream truck come flying through here a little while ago, and certainly looks like someone was shopping. A little snow cone action. No runs, three hits, no errors, three left. We will go actually two left. Go to the top of the fifth inning with your score six five.
All right, we move to the top of the fifth inning. Mikey Amrine now on the mound for baseball UPA Wyatt. They'll face West George, Josh Perry, and Caden Beidler here in the top of the fifth. And the first pitch is low for a ball. And the 1-0 pitch is over for a strike call. The count evens up at 1-1. That ball's lifted to center field. Well, nice job by Jake Pope to go back in that shallow left, uh, shallow center, no man's land to make the play. So West George is retired on the pop out to second base. And one out, Josh Perry. Step to the plate. Pitch bounces up there for a ball. And a 1-0 pitch is a little short. It's now 2-0. Fouled back, and we have just missed the car. Our buddy Jimmy Golden, always be coaching, man. Had to step away to take care of a family function. And comes back and right into it, talking immediately to his crew over at the baseball U Philly. And he's in the dugout. Josh Perry, the one out base runner with the base on balls. Gonna bring up number 10. Caden Beidler will dig in at the dish. Takes that first pitch wide for a ball. And that one gets by Seriano. Perry will move up to second base. So one more game for you today. Right around five o'clock, I believe, is the first pitch. Somewhere in that range. At least it was scheduled for round five. Yeah, this one started at three. So pool play, hour 50, you're not gonna start a new inning. And uh, it's Coach Glenn Wyatt strides out to the mound. Talk it over with the youngster, Mikey Amron. Amron, uh, Taking on a little bit of a new role. I've seen him a lot of them pitching. So he's, he's uh, been sitting uh, out a little bit. Last fall was the last time he uh, had a true outing on the mound. But nonetheless, knows his team might need some uh, help in the pitching department. So he decides to take the ball and go out there and make a go at it. Got to love it. Kid wants to get on video. The other coaches know out there that he's willing to do just about anything for his squad. That pitch is low and away for a ball. Right down Broadway as Bidler looking all the way. Uh, 
That pitch has popped up. Pope making the call and makes the grab. Second put out for Pope this half inning. His father is retired. Now to bring up James Evans. Evans two for two today. It's an RBI single back in the first and scored. And he's a single back in the third. That pitch bounces up there. Nice work by Jay Seriano to keep it with him. to uh, radio out to our buddy Casper to your iPod. Probably have him bump up the filter out there. It's a little overcast, making it appear a little dark around uh, home plate. <laughs> nice pitch there by Amron. It's the bottom part of the zone. Nasty. Two outs, a runner at second base. And that pitch is low and away for a ball. And that one bounces up there for the count to move the full. James Evans. Sam Ryan sets and the payoff pitch. High ball four. Runners at first and second. Now with two outs. Now bring up Subasa Magoda. Looks like. Coach Wyatt gonna make a Costa Deli pitching change. Costa Deli? Oh, Acosta. Is it Costa or Costa? Costa right? C O S T A. Costa. Oh, Costa. Yeah, I gotta talk to whoever that man. That we had a deli like that back in Vineland. Whew. Dangerous, right? Yeah. It's good. You think you breathe heavy now, just walking out to get the newspaper? Oh my lord. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been working on it, man. Yeah, you look good, man. Nate Crest is going to come out to the mound to pitch. It must have pained you to say that. I got a lot of work to go. I got a lot of work to go. We're going to get there. It's all right, man. It's paying off on the golf course. Hey, it is. Couldn't, <laughs> couldn't make it past nine holes before. <laughs> Barely nah. nine. Nah. I, I mean, yeah. the. I, have you paid off the uh, the debt to the golf course from the all the bio freeze that you left all over the seat <laughs> when it was just like slathered on your back and from that one mm. round we played? Yeah, well, I went through. Uh, I think I went through four bottles of it. Did they did they let you keep the golf cart that you destroyed with the bio freeze all over the seat? Are we in school? Was it nap time? How <laughs> <laughs> to play seven up? You just put the thumb up and yeah. hammer yeah. that thing. Yeah, no, I, I literally, I think, went through four of those roll-on bottles. Four or five. Yeah. I haven't had to use them. Uh -huh. That's good. Still got work. Still got work to do. So it will be Neat Cress at a LaSalle College Prep. You know, talk about a guy that got, uh, got fined. Last time we were here, he left a dent in the Skip Wilson Field scoreboard. Big kid. No, oh, dude, this guy is serious. You stand next to him and you're thinking, well, football Sunday tomorrow. This kid's built like a linebacker. 6'3", 210. Yeah, that's a freight train. And actually, Del Val will probably see a train tomorrow. And it might be Nate Kress or it might be the train that flies through the, mm -hmm. the outfield. Mm-hmm. We see Brother Kyle. Kyle Lindsey? Yes, sir. Coach, will you be in the house tomorrow? Yes, sir. Yeah. 
Talk about an efficient stint right there for Mr. Kress. One pitch, one out. That'll end the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and two left. We will go to the bottom of the fifth inning with your score 6-5. One. Bottom of the fifth inning. This is actually the final half frame as we're running out of time on the time limit for this contest. Baseball used last chance to try to pull this one out. They're down one run. And leading off is number two, Brooks Henderson. As he faces Joe O'Rourke. Henderson had a father judge. Maybe some father judge guys going to DeSales University. Takes first pitch low for a ball. Uh, Coach uh, Neiman checking in earlier today. He's watching from the confines of home as he uh, continues to get healthy. He loves the dream stream, man. Constantly asking for links and video. There's a line drive to left field for a base hit. So Henderson starting this one off right as he takes a big turn at first base. Yeah, Brooks Henderson, man, great addition to the baseball U uh, Philly fam over there. This dude's going places, there's no doubt about it. Getting some good looks, and you just see how aggressive he hits that hard 90 and makes that turn towards second. I mean, that, those are the little details that uh, make big impressions. Just watch him take his lead as he, he has purpose every time he's out there. Zoned in. Look, look, look how he takes his lead. Very aggressive. Oh, and that caught Tyler Kidwell on the shoulders. Now, first two batters are on base. And the very ever dangerous Nate Kress steps to the plate. Well, this is one of those spots that can turn a lot of heads. Could this be one of a uh, tailor-made BFA walk-offs? You never know. There goes the runner. Here comes the throw to third base, and they do not get him. So Henderson steals third. Kidwell stays at first. And a tying run is now 90 feet away. And dare I say, the wind is blowing out. That ball's ripped down the first base side. Foul. The honesty of the coaching staff. I got to tell you. The honesty. Man, I like it. You know. If yeah, that was it. me, I would have looked at you. Uh, uh, there we go. Here it is again. Hard to tell, but definitely foul. Um, 
That's Cress's side, man. He, that's where he does his damage. I don't know, you want to come inside on him again. Oh. I like the strategy. Overwork giving him a little bit of a different look. Just let everybody know that's not Subasa Magoda on the mound. That's actually O'Rourke on the mound. Oh, is he? Uh, yeah, just to let you know. He's short, actually. Wow, I don't know why it's not updated. Technical difficult. There you go. Oof, that might have been the pitch to hit right there. He fouled that one off. Cress is even saying it to himself. No moment too big for this young man. He pounds that one to first. And I thought about going to second base, but the run will score, and we now have ourselves a tie contest. Things just got interesting. It's good <clears throat> solid contact. I mean, that spot. Put the ball in play, knowing that you got a runner right there in scoring position. Solid. Andrew Armstrong, the winning run at second base. Oof. Looking to make it happen right there with that swing. Mikey Amrine waits on deck. Pitch has popped up straight behind us and out of play. Here's a shot of Tyler Kibwell at second base. Armstrong at the plate. And the pitch. Low and away for a ball. So runner here in scoring position at second base. Trying to go gap to gap here if possible, but there's a lot of room down that left field line for a righty. Potentially turn on one here. That ball's popped up. Shallow center field. And Krosilis makes the grab for the second out. So it's up to Mikey Amrine. Big spot for the young man. <coughs> Try to squeeze this one out for baseball, UPA Wyatt. Pitch is outside and gets away from catcher Caden Beidler. So Kidwell will move to third base. And the single will win this ball game. That pitch just missed, low and away for a ball. Counting out two and zero oh to Mikey Amrine with Luke Burkhead waiting on deck, and a two zero -oh pitch. Check the swing. No advancement by the runner as that one got away from Bidler. Yeah, good job by him just to square the shoulders up enough to keep it out in front. A little bit of room, tricky backstop at Skip Wilson Field. Kind of rides uphill a little bit. We talked about how it has that bowl seating area behind it. Line oh. drive, base hit. That'll do it. As Mikey Arm Amrine comes up big, and this game is in the books. Wow. On a walk off by Mikey Amrine. That's it, guys.
And yeah. they're pretty happy about the fact that they were able to come from behind and take this pool play matchup. So they're going to line it up. And wouldn't you know, after being down six runs in the top of the first, baseball U, Philly Wyatt, off the bat of Mikey Amride, wins their first pool play game here at the Dream Stream Series. Yeah, great one indeed. We'll, we, will, we will see you in the next Dream Stream stream, if you will. I know that's a little bit redundant for game number whatever it was. Four for us, probably game number eight for eight everybody today. else. Sure. And we will be back probably in about 10, 15 minutes. We'll see you soon.